It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. Buckle up. There's football coming your way, and it comes your way next. It's a building that's meant so much to the city of New Orleans and all of its residents over the years. And our coverage of the NFL has brought us to it, Caesars Superdome. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over them for big yardage, maybe six points too. Ball is teed up, Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. And we're underway in Caesar Superdome. Return starts at the three. Find some space, he's past the 30. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Well, hang on there. Hang on a moment. Looks like we've got an injured player on the kick return. They're going to check on him now. So they're off fence out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. First play is to the air. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air, Carr. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So now it's gonna be third and long. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. Carr throwing on third. Gets this one to Shahid. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Feels this clean at the 30. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So here come the Buccaneers, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. I'll raise my hand is one that was reminded once again why Baker Mayfield was the number one pick years ago to Cleveland. He expressed it last year from beginning to end in Tampa. Resurrected his career. Led these Buccaneers to a division title and a playoff win over the Eagles. Oh, by the way, earned a new contract to stay down there in Tampa Bay as a starter. He's always had the moxie. He's always had the fight. Last year, he had the consistency and the attention to detail to take his game to another level. And he's going to go down right along the midfield stripe. It's a gain of 12 there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Again for the first time to Rashad White. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and 10. Where one defender failed, while well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball, Make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Here's White again. And 
just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and that brings up third and nine. Not every corner in this league can make the play he just made right there. Sure, there's pure coverage guys. Not really known for their tackling, but this guy, well, he's someone who isn't afraid to stick his nose in there and make a stop. Third down, here's Mayfield. He's on the move. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And the fumble recovery is made. Hey, I get it, Kate. Third down, you're doing all you can to try to stay on the field, but unfortunately, Poor ball security loosens his hold on it, and the defense knocks it free. Instead of facing 4 10 even better, that defense is off the field completely. Second drive coming up for the Saints offense. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. First and ten from the 41. Throwing now, following the turnover. That's caught by Chris Olave. Getting 18 yards on that play, Brock, and he gets him a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They'll keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Second and ten now. Into the hands of Olave. And he's able to get this down to the 13. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. Third down, one yard to go. From the shotgun, Kong. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll run with Kamara. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. Car off the play fake. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Quarterbacks, well, they're a lot like sharpshooters in the NBA. Sometimes they're just going to miss. Got to shake it off and keep on firing. They've held them out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. Car here from the gun. And through the back of the end zone and out of bounds. That was a situation where he got the time in the pocket he needed. There just wasn't anyone open to throw it to. It got to the point he had two choices as that clock is going off in his head. Force a throw and risk a pick or just get rid of it and cut your losses on the play. On fourth down, out comes the Saints field goal team and Blake Groupie. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to get them on the scoreboard. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. 
That's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Bucky Irving now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Buccaneer offense getting out there for their second drive. And their defense held up after that fumble. Only gave up three. So time for this offense to make it up to them. Get some points of their own. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Drive starts with a carry by White. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That's pretty good right there now. You don't always expect a sizable game when you run it on first down. You just want some yards to set up an easier second down play. But they will take that execution every time. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Here's Mayfield. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them, along with everybody else. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Play fake. It's Mayfield. Grabbed by Chris Godwin. And he's a yard or two shy of the 30 before going out. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. First and ten, it's a gift to White. And he's able to manage a couple on that run. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Godwin, the man in motion left. Mayfield now from the gun. Got a man. Palmer has it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Receiver in motion, going left. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Delay of game. Off. Man in motion wasn't set in time, just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still first down. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. Running it after the penalty. And he's brought down for a loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. Again, this is White. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. We got maybe a yard there, so a long third and goal coming up. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. Mayfield now on third and goal. On the move, headed right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. 
headed in reverse after that sack. I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB can run. And he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. It's on the right hash for this 39-yarder. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And we're all tied up now in the first half. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Here's a return from the seven. Finds some space. He's past the 30. Crosses midfield, and he's still going. Field flip in return as he brought it down on the opposite side of the 50. Well, by the time he shifted into a different gear and began that foot race up the left sideline, could tell this return was already getting out of hand and what a gift for this offense who now gets to take over a lot of the work in the field position already done let's see how they attack this first down Brock from the 43 Here's a give inside to Kamara. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They stay on the ground with Kamara. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Pistol snap to Carr to get it to Moreau. And he's out of bounds right at the 25-yard line. Big gain, 14 on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Throwing on first down, it's Carr. He's got Shaheen. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. They get 19, and now they're going to have first and goal. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Running behind center with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints break the tie here in the first. Alvin Kamara, the touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, Brock, the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Starting from the five. The Buccaneer offense back out for another series. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Baker now from the gun. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game play. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. The give now to White. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, gets the better defenses in this league. So that's one quarter gone in a battle of NFC South rivals. It's a 10-3 ball game. Back to the Superdome of Caesar in just a bit. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Buccaneers football as we begin. Throwing on third and long. Everyone's in. And the Saints came marching home and they dropped in. Defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. I know quarterbacks get paid a lot of money and a lot of glamour in this league, but today, well, it's a tough day for this QB. He's taking a beating. And whether it means changing up some of the blocking schemes, maybe mixing in a little bit of run, or heck, this quarterback getting the ball out of his hand more quickly, he's got to start protecting himself. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. Collects this at the 35. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Saints still running back Alvin Kamara trotting back out to the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Another run for Kamara. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Carr back to throw. Kamara's got it. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And no chance at a return as this one heads across the sideline at the 25-yard line. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. 
They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, White. And he won't win the race to the outside. That runs bottled up at the line. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. From the gun, a run for White. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up 37. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. you got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. They'll throw on third and long. He finds Johnson. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. On again comes Jake Camarda to punt this away. Back deep for the Saints is Rashid Shaheed. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the Saints will get set to take over. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. This is reeled in by Wilson. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. I love throwing that first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Car now on first and ten. And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Back to the air. Car. That's complete to Wilson. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally, but really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. Looking to throw on third and one. This one to Shaheed. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. This is Camara. And the middle holds. They don't get anything on the run. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Here's Carr. Short pass caught by his tight end. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. The 
Buccaneers at another DB. Third down coming up. Carr. He has the first over the middle. And they take him down right along the 30. He gets six on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Connor with it on first. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to go out of bounds just short of that red zone. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing again. It's Carr. Taken in by Shaheen. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. It's a gain of four. And the Saints are going to have a first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First down from the red zone. And he will score. It's a New Orleans touchdown. The Saints take a 13-point lead. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Groupie to try the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He stopped on the return at the 27. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 make your case for who should get a boost. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun, Mayfield. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. One of the tight ends in motion left. Going again is Baker. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably but then go to work after. First down, here's Baker. That's going to be caught by Evans. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four.
They run the counter with White. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Only a yard on the pickup, so that's going to bring them to third down and three. Well, no spring in a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play-action pass off that counter action. Third and short, Mayfield. This one's taken in by Otten. And he's out of bounds. Looks like right at the midfield strike. It's a gain of four there. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. But a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Godwin, the man in motion left. First and ten. Here's Mayfield. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. And now it's second down. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open and beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Second down, Mayfield the pass. On target to Godwin. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. Mayfield to throw again. This ball's caught by Palmer. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Give him 13 on that play. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback. And the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. Got his target. It's up. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Baker throwing again. Completes this one to Otten. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Time now taken by the Buccaneers. They're first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Third and a lone yard coming up. Here's Baker. Now set up the screen. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. Tampa spends its second time out now. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. Field now from the gun. Has it in close. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers make it a one score game before halftime. Mike Evans with the touchdown. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. On is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. And 
And just like that, we're back to a one possession ball game as the kickoff is away. To return this, Rashid Shahid. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Saints are going to take over now near the end of the half. They're up by seven. We'll see if they choose to just rest on that going into halftime. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Carr. He's got Shaheen. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout, so that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Car now on first and ten. Gets this one to Shahid. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the shotgun, caught. Over the middle, caught. Complete pass. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They got 24 yards on the play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Here comes the final play of our first half. Just before halftime, we get a timeout Take it. Only time left for one more snap, Rock, so they're gonna run out their field goal unit. From the right hash, this is gonna be a 51-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that'll push it to double digits in a two-possession game. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good than get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Well, Brock, barring the touchback, this kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. He's going to return it from a yard or two deep. And he's able to get it to the 21 as he goes down. So we're at halftime here in beautiful New Orleans, and it's the Saints who've got the lead as we head to the break. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half from the veteran quarterback, Derek Carr. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. On is the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. Tampa Bay sending its offense out to begin the third quarter. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. 
tires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Able to hit Palmer, complete. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. A pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. It's White on the give. And he's going to work his way almost to midfield. That's stopped at the 48. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. So much to like about that room, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Running on second with White. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. I don't know about you, Kate, but he sure made getting that first down look really easy. A lot easier than it's supposed to be for that defense. And I think they'll hear about it when they get to the sidelines. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Man in motion headed right. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Delay of game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still first down. They'll have to come up with five extra yards now after that first down flat. Off the play fake. Here's Mayfield. Oh, stiff arm. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. White trying this straight ahead. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. It's a four-yard pickup, and they need the same now here on third down. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Baker now from the gun. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. That's Demario Davis. And the Saints will set up just a little bit shy of the 40 following the tackle. He was trying to fit it into a window in the zone coverage, but by the time he let it go, boy, Brock, that lane had closed and someone was there to make a play on it. What you're trying to do in zone coverage defensively is make that quarterback see a window that isn't actually there. And as soon as he takes the bait and sends it over the middle, well, you got one, two, three defenders all there in range to go pick it off. The Saints come marching onto the field. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and ten coming up. Car here from the gun. Camara's got it. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in the loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. All right, here we go, second down. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Wilson's got it. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys.
guys as you go, and all the while, you know you can take a lick at any time. And for the Buccaneers, it's a nickel look, third down coming. Pistol snap to Carr. Into traffic, complete! And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Here comes the Saints punting unit. And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. He gets it away, but nothing on that one. Oh, this is awful. Headed towards the sideline. And this punt is out of bounds with no chance at a return. Looks like they're going to spot it at the 30. Time for us to get another look at this Tampa Bay offense. And a nice drive last time out, Brock, squandered by that interception. So I think they take a repeat of everything except that final play. First and 10 now from the 30. They'll motion the tight end left. First and 10, it's Mayfield. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You want to become a quarterback's best friend, do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. First down, here's Baker. Got a man, Palmer has it. A solid gain there, gets him across the 45 before he goes out. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay a game. Delay of game. Awesome. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still second down. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They'll run here following the penalty. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and they need the same now here on third down. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get games like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Third and short, Mayfield. Got Evans, it's complete. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. Needed to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. Mayfield will throw for it. He connects downfield on four. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. What a call. They wind up with 12 on fourth down and pull off the conversion. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it when all the pressure that drives right on them. Turns out, handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing on. First and 10. Here's Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Baker now off to play fake. This ball's cut by Palmer. And they're going to take this to the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. The Buccaneers shrinking the lead some in the third.
All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. set up and it's away just a three-point game now returning it from the four coverage team gets him down at the 26 yard line the saints ready to return their offense to the field and last touchdown cuts their lead from 10 to 3 but a chance to restore it right here the first and ten. Pressure coming for Carr. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. Perhaps a bit late breaking towards the ball, but still just enough time to get a finger on it and knock it away. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Counter give to Kamara. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. The Buccaneers at another DB. Third down coming up. Throwing his car. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. So out now comes the punter. And he'll try to hit this one well. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Buccaneers will get set to go on offense. The Buccaneers and Baker Mayfield ready for this next possession. And this is some quality film review right here. Look at this. Couple of touchdowns. Good amount of yards, too. He's been moving them down the field like only he can. Putting together quite the game for himself in the process. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Up the middle, here goes White. And hopefully a bit of a wake-up for their ground game. It's a solid pickup there on the play. Minute six on the play, bringing up second and four. Humble five, six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain, not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay of game. Delay of game. Off. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still second down. 
Offense to the line for second down. They bring their tight end left. Play fake. It's Mayfield. That's going to be cut by Evans. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play just like that. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Brought in left side by Godwin. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Coming left is White. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Here's White again. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Gets them those three yards back, but it brings up third and ten now. Motioning him from the slot right. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Delay of game. Off. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still third down. Backed up now after the penalty. It's third down. They'll send him over right. Third along, Mayfield. Right side, hauled in by Godwin. And he stopped at the 31 yard line. And on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. Ball on the right hash, 48 yards out. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that will tie things up in the third. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time, well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Has this at the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the shotgun, Carr. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. We're still tied through three here. Neither defense has given an inch in this one. This game's still tied after three, so we're gonna design things here in the fourth quarter. Second and three now.
from the 34. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Motioning the tight end left. Carr with it on third and short. And that's incomplete. He's going to wish he hung on to that pick there, but it's still going to bring up fourth down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. you got to secure the pick before anything else. Punt team on the field. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. Has it at the 37. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Buccaneers ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. A field now from the gun. This finds Evans complete. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. It's a quarterback. When you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. And hopefully a bit of a wake up for their ground game. It's a solid pick up there on the play. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. From the 40 on second down. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he's taken down at the 30. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Buccaneer first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. One of the tight ends motioning left. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Delayed game. Austin. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still first down. So they should be a little prompter in snapping this. You'd hope, Brock, after that delay of game. They run. It's white. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. Gets them six yards and back on the positive side of things. It's now second and nine. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're going to be a pro bowler. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Godwin sets in motion right. Shotgun snap for Mayfield. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. So now here's third and five. Off the play fake, here's Mayfield. Holds up, and he just had to get rid of it. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? And it shows the wrong play off that call sheet that time. So Chase McLaughlin is on in a high-pressure spot. Ball on the left hash for this 41-yarder. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. 
That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one isn't over, and that lead certainly isn't safe. Be taken in at the eight. He stopped on the return at the 27. Here comes the Saints offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give him some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. They're out and set, first and ten. Car here from the gun. Connects with Johnson. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. Defense all over that throw, you could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. He's got it to him yet again, and that one is caught. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. New set of downs for him from the 46. Throwing on first down, it's caught. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. You know, so often we talk about speed offensively, right? We love receivers that can run. Well, that was a perfect example of how speed kills you defensively. A hurried throw almost ended an interception. And that wasn't until after they almost brought him down behind the line for a sack. Speed's the difference. Gets this one to Shahid. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, give your quarterback a chance. All plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing again, it's Carr. He's got it, room to run. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Car off the play fake. Wilson's got it. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Has it in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. They'll throw it again. The Buccaneers get there and bring him down. And that sack going to cost them some yardage. I know we talk about rhythm a lot when it comes to music, but it's the same thing with a quarterback and his protection. This QB was in rhythm. 
but they knocked the notes out of him on that one. Buckle up, it's third and goal. Here's Carr. Toward the sideline, and he locates Johnson. You get to that money down, that third down, you look to your money players, and this tight end is capable of it. Let's give some credit to the defense right there. Did an amazing job, not only sticking to him, but bringing him down before he can move the chains. Here's an important kick now for Blake Groupie. Angling this one in from the right hash to challenge here. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And in the fourth quarter, that's going to tie the game! So many of these players on the field, Kate, they just strive for consistency, but not the kickers. They strive for perfection, and so far, he's just that. the Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. Return coming from the six. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Buccaneers headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. ready to begin this drive first and ten here's Baker to throw an alert play defensively there he got a hand on it to tip it away that makes it second down oh look at those savvy linebackers they're just right in the middle of everything aren't they caked and it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well he needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction couldn't connect on first it's second down. They put a receiver in motion right. Second down. They feel the pass. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Move the chains! Got to move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Palmer motioning right. First and 10, here's Mayfield. This ball's cut by Palmer. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Way to the marker. It's second and five. Baker throwing again. The lateral goes haywire. Live ball. Oh, they got it back. They can try and salvage something. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Intended target there was Mike Evans. And things look tougher now with third and long. Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer when they get a guy cut, they know. Mm. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Penalty not helping their cause for this third down. Looking to throw. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate. On shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in over a long distance. A tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. 
Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And they settled for a chip shot field goal last time, Brock. You gotta think they want to be able to finish it off and reach the end zone here. They've got first down from the 31. They send a receiver in motion right. Car now on first and 10. This is complete to Olave. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well drawn up completion that nets them a first down. Three timeouts and the two-minute warning left for him. We've got first and ten. Pistol snap to Carr. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Buccaneers territory. brings us to the two-minute warning in New Orleans. Saints with a little more work to do to win it here. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Sending a tight end in motion left. Now to throw. To left sideline, complete. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. That wasn't going anywhere else on that play. It's one of the ones called specifically for the tight end because they know he's able to get a good release off that play action, and then he gets himself in space to do some damage. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and 10. Here's a give to Kamara. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. All right, set now, first and 10. And now headed right, Camara. He's got a nice game down inside the 10 yard line. The defense calls a timeout, so that's their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. <laughs> Running right, it's Camara. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Tampa spends its second time out now. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's gonna be on third down. They stay on the ground with Camaro. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. And that timeout taken by the Buccaneers, and that's their final one. As they'll get together and discuss with fourth down coming up. Here's an important kick now for Blake Groupie. The upright's 31 yards away, dead ahead. And that one is good! getting his job done, K drilling it right through. And now they're in position to win this game. Bounce on some of those guys who are out there with them on the kick, those defenders. Hang on to this lead to give them the win. the 
Saints kickoff team to tee it up and send it away. His return starts at the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Tampa Bay are ready to head out to the field. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here he is to throw. Taking the deep shot there on first down. Okay, no one connecting. It's incomplete. Well, he needed another second to deliver the throw he wanted to. You've got to give a lot of credit that time, Kate, to the pass rush for getting in and forcing him to dish it before he was ready. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. To throw. Trying to push it deep downfield. Defender runs right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Hit arrived as the ball did to break things up. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Three fumbles in a game. He's got to get his head on right, right there on the sidelines before they will ever trust him to hang on the ball again. The New Orleans offense set to go now. They run out still in possession of a three-point lead. Thanks to the efforts of their defense, Bronk, and now a chance to run out this clock. And you do not want to put your defense back on the field in a tough position and needing another stand to end it. Uh-uh-uh. You take control of it. You make sure that defense is rested and celebrating, and hopefully you can pull out that victory formation. No timeouts remaining here, partner, so they can just run out this clock. And they'll take a knee. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You can just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Kneel down here, and they can start to celebrate this win. And he's going to take a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. So fans starting to stream from the Superdome to the French Quarter as it's a win for the Saints. And Brock, we all know any win is a good win, but playing against a division rival, oh, it always feels so much better dealing that one in the L column. These are the teams that know you best, Kate, but also the ones that you know best. So yep. yes, it is just a little bit sweeter when you take care of business in your own division. So for Brock Heward, everyone here on our great crew, I'm Kate Scott, and this has been the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Saints, as we say so long from New Orleans.